Hi folks, we are here today with Sarah Johnson. I had to remember her last name. <laughs> she is going to be participating in the Metaphysical Art Exhibition, March 23rd and 24th, down at Iowa State Fairgrounds, and that is going to be in the Des Moines New Age and Psychic Fair. Mm -hmm. Now, Sarah has sat down with us today to tell us a little bit about why she does what she does, what keeps her going, and some of her awesome experiences. So, I am going to let Sarah take it away. Okay, Sarah. Number one, I want you to show us some of your favorite pieces, mm. if you're cool with that. Yes. Okay. Of course. Go for it. Okay, so this, of course, like everyone else at the moment, Egyptian art is fun. So this is my little fancy scarab that I did. And, you know, just like, I like doing little charmy fun stuff. And then this one is uh, like a fire snowflake. And I was studying a lot of Norwegian runes mm -hmm. and protection stuff. I, I was going to say that's very runic and yep. very, very sigilly. Mm -hmm. And whatever I'm studying generally shows up in my art. So right, right, I've been right. studying a lot of Norwegian fun stuff. Now, just a quick fun fact about Sarah. Sarah is a Virgo rabbit, mm -hmm. which is going to make her a bit more scholarly. All right. So go ahead. <laughs> uh, and then this lady is kind of like a fun... Here. Oh, wait. Hold up. Let me back up. There we go. <laughs> She's kind of like a little oracle. And, um, you know, I don't know. It's just kind of like a strength piece. I like uh, it. I yeah. like it. It's kind of almost like when, when I'm looking at it now, I kind of see a little bit like a jellyfish type thing, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. yeah. No, that's just a couple pieces okay. that I've been working on. Yeah. Go ahead and tell us how you got started into this. Um, I, honestly, a lot of artists in my family, I'm really lucky. This is something that just I, as soon as I could pick up a pencil, I was drawing. Okay. And, um, you know, I was lucky to have a lot of people in my family that did art and, you know, let me just go off with it because I was I liked it so okay. yeah awesome what keeps you going hmm and how long have you been doing it that's the other thing um like really putting stuff out mm -hmm. there and trying to sell probably once I want to say probably like 14 15 was when I really started to pursue okay I'm trying to think how long ago that was <laughs> so like 15 ish 15 20 years ago okay um and yeah I just uh started constantly trying to put my stuff out there. I knew mm -hmm. it's what I wanted to do. I knew I would be a starving artist for a very long time and I'm okay with that. <laughs> you have to embrace that early. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what really keeps me going a lot of, I do a lot of activism work and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. that always, I try and what I'm studying, mm -hmm. tie it in and, right. you know, really just push positivity and good messages. And also sometimes I do like to make more activist, spicy art, but okay. <laughs> just depends. Now, would you say that you are inspired by other artists and hope to be an inspiration to them? Oh, yes, yes. That's always something that's been really important to me is like the community of artists and things like that. Because like the best movements in art are large groups of people getting together and, you know, embracing each other and supporting each other and trying to make the world better through action. And so, yeah, I community of artists and especially you know in Iowa we we need that it's yes. something that needs to be built back up and more camaraderie I think a grounded humble community of artists yes yes I mean it's needed and it's therapeutic too which obviously we all need therapy so <laughs> yes <laughs> every single one of us oh, yeah. every day if you don't you mm -mm. yeah <laughs> we think it <laughs> if you do if you do not need therapy at some point or some stress release, we want to know what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, we you need let to, us know. Yeah, yeah, we need some of that. <laughs> but, um, okay, so you've had a lot of dealings. I mean, 15, 20 years is a long time to be selling your artwork. Mm -hmm. What is your best story? I know, I know it's going to be hard, but what's your best story? Your best interaction with a patron, customer, client, whatever you want to call them. Um, let's see. I really enjoy the okay there was one time when I was sitting it was actually like right outside of vaudeville muse and there was a show going on and I'm sitting out there at a table just drawing and doodling and some kid just walks up to me and he's like my girlfriend absolutely loves owls but I'm really poor and I'm like okay well how much do you have he's like five bucks and it was something I would work on really hard but I was right. like oh you're just too cute here yeah five yeah. bucks works right everything was five bucks and a beer okay <laughs> Right, all right. So, yeah, I was like, that was just one of those moments where I'm like, I'm so glad I was able to like, you know, he's going to make his girlfriend happy now. Dude, it would have been five bucks in a taco for me. Food. It's always food. I have definitely yeah, food. traded art for tacos. Uh -huh. Yes. Food. <laughs> food. Mm. <laughs> but Starving no, artists. Yeah. <laughs> so, what's your craziest story? I don't know. It's, I mean... 
it's the art world. Everything's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> you I can don't. just start. Where do I even begin? Um, just an interaction with somebody that really it's fun, but you know, it's off the rails. Um, a lot of times my best weirdest interactions are with children because mm-hmm. they come up and they want to ask, you know, questions of like, what's this? And you know, like, oh, that reminds me of this cartoon or that, or, yeah. you know, and the kids are very like interactive, but the funniest part is generally their parents don't know what to do Okay. because they're very much so like, it's weird coming up to an artist mm-hmm. at any point and the kids don't care. They don't know who you are. They don't, they just know you draw pretty pictures. Well, and that's the other thing I really love about the metaphysical art exhibition. I'm, I've got almost all artists who are incredibly friendly. Mm-hmm. Which we can be grumpy too. So we can be grumpy, <laughs> but for the most part we're friendly and we really like to give out inspiration and stuff. Yes. And we actually enjoy interacting with the people who mm-hmm. love our art. We like connecting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, we make it for other people. It's not like I'm sitting there making it for myself. So. Yeah, I know, right? You know, like, it's, yeah, people are part of it. And, yeah, interaction is great. And have you ever have you ever sat down with somebody and they actually connect to the piece you're doing that connects to a part of their life? Yes. You know, and it's like, I love whoa. that. Yeah, right? Oh, my gosh. And, they're yeah, when they, like, gravitate towards a piece and it just, like, you can see it capture them. And I'm yes. just like, I did that. Yes. I really did. <laughs> like, it's such a great feeling yeah, that's to, cool. like, yeah, to have somebody be receptive to something that you made. And, you know, the goal was to do that. And so when it really happens, you're like, that's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. So is there anything you'd like to tell other artists or patrons, anything like that? Any message you would like to say? Um, I think for me at the moment, yeah, what we were discussing, you know, currently for me, the most important thing that I'm focusing in on with my art is building community between artists because that can be difficult or like herding cats yeah a lot of times so um yeah i mean that's my focus right now and what i'm looking forward to working on is re like kind of getting us all to connect back together Mm because it's des moines a lot of us know each other already and you know just getting it kind of put back together we need some some new life and you know some new breath Mm -hmm. oh dennis has a question speaking of owls which one do you prefer hedwig or boobo hedwig (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> but he's so noble anyway i'm sorry <laughs> i don't know bobo. he took a bullet for harry man <laughs> i do like bobo i do like That's bobo true. yeah okay so last part of it give us your contact info and you do commissions yes 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 okay. i do you're available for commissions you're available for custom artwork mm-hmm. your pieces are available where are your pieces available at Right now, they're here at the New Age shop. Des Moines New Age shop? Yes, yes. Okay. And this is the only place I got it right now. I'm just kind of hanging out with you guys. So. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Now, do you have them in any upcoming art shows? I do in the metaphysical fair thing that you guys are doing. Okay. <laughs> but any other ones? No, not at the moment. Okay. I'm, like, I'm, I'm slowly working my way back in uh, okay. to things. You know, it takes time. Don't worry, I'll hook you up with Dean. You'll you'll be in a bunch okay, of shows right, by right, then. We'll be good. No, I know all the really neat people in the art world. They're they're like so cool and grounded right. and awesome. You're gonna love it. Okay. But anyway, <laughs> but um, no. So contact info. Put it out there. Um, how can people get a hold of you to get your stuff outside of coming here? <laughs> do you have a Facebook page, Instagram, anything? Um, I do have a Facebook page, but I don't really put much art up on it. Honestly, my email is the best way to get a hold of me. Okay. Um, Go ahead. It's 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 a music reference, just so you know. <laughs> X and then Sarah, and my name has an H on the end of it, and then X again, and then K A Y, and then X again, like music reference, um, at Gmail. Okay. Yep, that's awesome. me. All right. <laughs> well, thanks for staying down with us today, Sarah. It's been a joy, and we love you guys. See you at the Metaphysical Art Exhibition, March 23rd and 24th.